how to use each brush to create a repeat pattern. There are two ways to create repeat pattern using the basic shapes in the pattern builder kit. One is to create a design inside the shape. Then you color it. Then you select the colored and the guide. You group them and you duplicate them five times. Your original is supposed to be layered, but here I flattened everything. Select four of the copies and move them to the corner of the canvas. So I'm moving elements to the corner. I delete the unnecessary layers, the layers guide and merge everything. Now you have your design merged in one layer. So I'm going to duplicate this design four times and make them have the size of the canvas. This step purpose is to see if the pattern is repeating correctly. You can zoom and you can see that your pattern is repeating perfectly. This process will work the same if you have a design following the form of the brush. So I created a sketch and color it. So I group those two and repeat the same steps as the exercise before. Another way to create a repeat pattern is to use the symmetry in the Procreate app. Go to the wrench tool and activate the drawing guide, edit drawing guide. For this shape, I'm using quadrant. So I'm gonna make sure that the layer that I'm drawing on it has the word assisted on it. And I start designing. For this one, I created this sketch. It will be the same procedure as the other videos where you have colored layer and I recommend having the original one safe for you to adjust later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the sketch and the guide, duplicate it four times. Gonna hide the original one. And each of the four copies, I'm going to make them half the size of the canvas. Hide the drawing guide. And I'm going to remove the clutter of the guides. and merge everything and as you can see the pattern is repeating perfectly and here other shapes where you can use the symmetry on for the composite shape the advantage of it is to have several elements so you don't have the same element to repeat but have more options to elaborate your design for this one I created three elements, the bird, the decoration, and the angel, and I had two borders. And now I'm gonna repeat it using the composite. So 
So to do this, you need to have the angel repeated to the right and left. And to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the angel and duplicate the guide, group them. And this group, I'm going to duplicate it another time. So I have two copies of the angel and each copy, I'm going to move it to one side of the canvas. Now I'm going to remove the extra guide and I'm going to merge those two. After repeating the angel, what I need to do is group the three angels with the top design and the guide. I'm going to group them together and this one, it will stay. So what I need to do is have a copy to the top and one to the bottom. So I'm going to duplicate this one twice and take each copy one to the top and one to the bottom and make sure that the snapping is on so i'm gonna delete the extra guide i'm gonna merge the two copies and I'm going to duplicate the center one and hide the, an original copy. Remove the guide and now merge everything. So what I have is all the element merged together. So another step to make sure that this is repeating perfectly is to duplicate it three times and make each layer and make them have the size of the canvas. My pattern is repeating perfectly. And here other composite shapes that you can use the same steps as the previous video. For the half drop composite in the pattern builder grid, to make a repeat pattern, I created this design. So what I need to do now is repeat it and move it half the canvas. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the original, hide it. And to be on the safe side, I usually create a new layer, fill it with a color and merge the guide with the colored layer. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this twice because I'm going to move it to the right and to the left. So I select this one and move it half the size of the canvas. Then this half, I'm going to duplicate it twice, hide one of the copies, the one that is showing I'm going to move it to quarter of the canvas. Then reselect it and make it half its size. Now I'm going to show the one that I hit and move it under the small one. And I'm going to delete the guides and merge everything. So what I have now is the original one, then the repeated one to the right. So what we're gonna do is do the same steps. Take this one, but to the left and move it to half the size of the canvas. Then duplicate this half Select on one of the copies and move it to quarter of the canvas. Then reselect it again and make it half its size. 
Now I'm gonna show the hidden one, hidden half of the copy and move it under the small selection. And then I'm gonna delete the guides. What I have here is the original one with the repeat pattern on the one for the right and one to the left. So to make sure that our, our pattern is repeating correctly, what I'm gonna do is make a copy of the original and merge everything. So we have a, all the element in the same layer. And again, to be on the safe side, I'm gonna create a new layer and fill it with color, group the merged one with the color and duplicate it three times. Then make each one have the size of the canvas. Now, as you can see, the pattern is repeating perfectly. Why I created a layer with color? Because sometimes your design won't fit the canvas 100%. You have like a one pixel gap here or here. So having a colored layer that fill the whole canvas, it will be easier for you to move elements and make them snap to the canvas without any problems. Thank you for buying the brushes.